Welcome back everybody. It is time for another package unboxing and today we have a ginormous huge bonanza of a box full of Go-Go's Crazy Bones. Ooh, here it is. The Please Handle with Care Box all the way from Canada. This thing is heavy. Again, this is a giant lot that I found on eBay and it has a massive, massive amount of just loose Go-Go's, some really cool looking ones in here. Because it came from Canada, I'm hoping there are a bunch of really nice exclusive Canada ones from the original series and maybe some Raqueros and things like that. We're gonna have to see. I'm hoping for some really cool stuff, maybe even some cool surprises. We'll see. The picture on eBay was, you know, just a giant stack of crazy bones. So you can't really see all of them. They kind of do that on purpose sometimes just to entice people into the mystery of what else you can find. Uh, they get me sometimes, you know, what can I say? But from what I did see, it seemed like a very, very promising lot. Definitely worth the value. There's over, they said on the listing, I should say, over 550 Go-Go's in this lot. However, upon getting the box, they had written on it 840 plus Go-Go's Crazy Bones plus two tins. This does come with a couple classic old school tins. I don't have those in my collection, so that's just an extra bonus. But the lot jumped up from 550 to 840 plus. So uh, yeah, there might be a lot more in here than I previously expected. I've been very excited to open this one. I don't even really quite know how I'm gonna film it yet. I definitely am gonna have to like sort through these and start lining them up and seeing what we got. I wanna take you guys along on the process because I like doing things in a reactionary mode so you can see what my reactions are. That's only going to happen so much in this one, I think, because it's just going to be too difficult to look through everything. Uh, it would be like a three hour video or some nonsense. So I'm going to do my best. I'm going to sort it all out. You're going to see some of the sorting and whatnot, and then I'll hone in on some of the really cool polls and kind of go through the general lot as best I can for the video. So if you enjoy this one, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more GoGo -Go stuff. I do have another giant lot that I will be doing a video on as well. Although this is like the super exciting one that I have just been absolutely stoked to open up. So come on, let's see what we can do. Let's open up the box and see what we can find. We're gonna start with this view and we're gonna start narrowing down after we start sorting. I don't even know, that's my initial plan. We'll see how the rest of the recording goes, but oh man, I've been waiting for like a week or two to open this. It took about two weeks, two weeks to get in. Something like that, wasn't too bad, wasn't too bad. Okay, it looks like they packed it pretty nicely, which is excellent. All right, we're already starting to see them, the bags. We do have a bunch of aliens in here too. It's gonna be really dope. All right, I'm just gonna start setting bags out. We got our first tin full of Go-Go's. This is a small tin. I forget what kind of promotion this one came from, but it's a classic little Crazy Bone tin. We'll look at it closer in a minute. Another bag of Go-Go's, oh yes. I see a Jojo head in here already. All right, the final one. This is the behemoth part because this lunchbox is absolutely massive. Holy cow. Let's get that out of the way. Woo, look at that. Holy cow. I mean, just in comparison, I didn't realize it came in two sizes uh, until recently. I thought it kind of only came in the small one, uh, but I guess not. They made a huge, massive one. So let's take a look at what's inside here. Should I bring the camera down? Maybe I'll bring the camera down for the, the reveal of this thing, but they all look like in like really good condition too, honestly. I don't see a lot of too many stuffs or anything on these, which is, which is nice, that's good. I would love to display these on the shelf or the wall of madness that we got going on. So this is gonna be really cool looking. Man, oh man, I'm already seeing some goodies. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Oh, wow, okay. Ooh, yes, let's go. We're in a little bit closer. We got the two bags on the side. I do see a couple figures are a little roughed up. It's, you know, I can't expect everything to be perfect here, but these things are full to the brim, especially this one. So I guess we'll just do a little flip on this here. Do a reveal on this bad boy. Let's check it out here. I'll put this up here. Oh, buddy. Oh, let's go. So many, so many, so many, so many blue sparkle figures, which is, I believe those are, Canada exclusive. So I'm really excited to see what we get with all the blue ones. Oh, Canada exclusive already right away. That's great. We're going to go into more of them in a second. Let's do a reveal on this big bad boy here. Let's see. Oh my gosh, dude, this is insane. Uh, and last night I just put away like so many go-go's. Uh, I put over like 
300 go goes away, sorted them, and now I'm gonna have to like resort and stuff. Holy crap, another Canada exclusive already from the, I believe there was how many, nine figures or something like that, 15, 12, something, nine, 12, 15. One of those numbers, there was a certain amount, number of figures that you could only get in Canada from the Things series. So those are kind of cool. Only like saving grace to the Things along with Aliens. Oh boy. Uh -huh. Already finding a Metal Menace. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. All right, all right. We've seen enough. Let's start sorting these things. Okay, let's go. Holy hell, that's a lot. Okay, there we go. Clean table, and now it's time to start sorting. I think we're gonna start with things first, just get those out of the way. I'll set up all the things, go through, and we'll go into the exclusives and stuff like that, but that's where I think I'm gonna start. Got a little haircut in between filming. All right, so things. We ended up having a good chunk of these bad boys. Nothing too crazy here. It's our classic guys with some cool variants on some different colors because it's the Canada series. Now we did get a good chunk of these, but we did get more of the classic series, which you guys will see in a little bit here. Overall, these are pretty cool. Some of the standouts, we got some nice pearl ones, which look always fantastic. We even got three glowies, which is always welcome. And we also got one gold figure from things now the gold metal figures were exclusive to canada for the thing specific pack so finding one of these is really really cool i don't have any of the metals from things so this is a nice addition All right, we were never gonna focus on things for very long. So you got a quick little time lapse. You got to see all the figures. Let's move on to some other cool stuff. Okay, before we go into any of the, like the Canada exclusives, let's go into some of the ones that I just got a couple of from each series. There's a few aliens and different things. So let's go into those. First up, we've got sports. We only got four figures from sports, which is fine by me. I'm not the biggest fan of sports. These are the only ones that we receive. We got like D-Rex, I believe, a couple others. And we did get one little glowy here from sports, but that's it for these. We got one singular bouncing Jojo head dude. I don't know what his character name is, but he is the only one in the lot just kind of tossed in there. He is a bit roughed up and damaged. We did actually find a couple gooeys. These are completely wrecked gooeys. Uh, I mean, there's nothing even signifying what these would be. There's no stamp, uh, no it's just a hunk of plastic. It just looks like a hunk of plastic. I don't even know if these would be considered gooeys. You can see a little outline of some of the crazy bone butt, but I believe these are from the original classic series. They match some of the color tones that I was seeing from that. So I'll take it, I guess. I, I wish they were a little bit more clear who they were. These are just basically two hunks of uninformed plastic. All right, we got some power bombers here as well, going off of the characters from the OG classic series. We got like goody goody and stuff, four eyes over here. And is this four eyes? No, this is someone else, isn't it? Either way, these are the ones we got for the power ones. We got a men we got a menace dropping out of my hand here and a nice little smiley guy. These guys are pretty cool. You can skip these like stones, man. They're so paper thin, it's hilarious. Not paper thin, but they're cool. The I don't really have any of these actually, so this will be the first part of the collection here, but these are all the ones we got from the little power bombers. Aliens, who doesn't like a good little alien, right? Am I right? We got like the little Pharaoh dude here. We also got this Pharaoh dude here, this Cleopatra girl here. We got a couple Neros. We got a few of the bad alien monsters. One more up here. We got the little cyborg edition. Ah, the good old Statue of Liberty straight from the Canada Collector. A cow, an aardvark, a brainy head, a car. I don't know which one this one is. And of course we can't forget our little racist figure here. Some of these guys are absolute classics, so I can't complain. We didn't get too many. 
But you know what? This is a good little chunk of aliens that I'll gladly add to the collection. It was nice to get them in here. And you know what? They're all in pretty decent shape as far as like no paint coming off of the eyes and stuff. They actually look pretty clean. Perfect. Okay, let's move on to some exclusive Canada things. Canada exclusive things. Yes, in Canada, the thing packs actually were a bit more exciting than the US releases. They had rock arrows, they had glowies, they had medals, and they had their very own 16 character set list exclusive only to Canada. And I got 15 out of the 16 in this lot and many duplicates, many different color variations. These look so, so cool. I love these guys. They look amazing. We got the fungi go-go, which is like a little mushroom dude. He looks super cool. And I definitely wanted to get him uh, looking at the list and just crossing my fingers that I got him. And I did, I got a couple and then like a red one. The Swiss cheese one just looks amazing. The mold on him is really, really nice. And then I got like the palm tree guy. I only got like one of him and I got duplicates of like the Goo Goo Gaga one and the other suitcase one and all these other different ones. And then I got like that little dill pickle or asparagus uh, asparagus one i'm not sure i only was missing pickle pickle was the only one that i was missing from the lot of the exclusive canada things guys uh so i was very close to just getting a whole set of the entire exclusive things just from this one lot which is insane these guys are super cool and again it makes the things series a bit more exciting if you're getting the packs from canada it's just that much nicer to look for different things in those i'm super happy and i also think that i just purchased a lot just about a week ago that might i just looked at the picture i think it has pickle in it so i'll probably have a complete set in a matter of couple days which is hilarious leave a like on the video if you enjoy these exclusives i think they're super cool and leave a comment below with which one is your favorite character from these canada exclusive things all right next moving on Okay, we're going to do a little color separation for the classic series. We got some very bland yellow, and this one's kind of like an off yellow, kind of like orangish, orangish off yellow, but you know, it is what it is, just the basics. Some more basics, just some like nice teal colors. I actually really like this teal, it looks really good. Purple! The classic lockdown purple for a couple nice ones. We got, I think that's hippie. Is that hippie? I don't know. I forget that one. Goody, goody. No, nah, that's not goody goody. And this dude right here, very nice. Only like just basic purples I got. And the last one for the basic colors is a singular eggy. That's right. I only got one single eggy in this entire lot of however many I got. Uh, just a nice looking blue. I don't have this one, so I'll take it. It's fine. I got a lot of other really cool ones from the classic series, so I'm not complaining. Even if it is only one eggy, he looks uh, pretty nice. And again, I don't have them, so I'll take it. Two very basic orange ones, but they look nice. I do like the moldings on the Canada versions of the classics. I think some of them do have just a, a little spark more of detail, kind of, even though they are technically smaller figures. And a singular basic red for baby. I believe this is just baby little pacifier. Oh, the other good one I got was a medal, and it is a menace silver medal with some weird, is that deformation going on? What is going on with that? face thing that is weird looking it's got a little, like little dent i don't know if all of them look it looks like more dented than normal for like the eyes and stuff but hey i got a silver metal menace and i had just gotten a gold metal menace so this is uh fantastic to me Ooh, i did notice this guy as well we got like a nice toothpaste one of an orange very sharp looking i did find one more purple one actually right here so that's our other singular bland purple. Okay, I keep finding more blands one. Here's another like sweetie bland red one, no big deal. Okay, we can do some jellies. These are ones that kind of didn't fit with any of the other ones, just kind of one-offs of color and stuff. This is kind of like a faded kind of purple clear one almost. Uh, we've got one little glitter jelly here of a nice sharp purple. Just three little simple yellows. A couple are glitter and one's just a basic jelly. That kind of weird off blue jelly. I really like this blue color. It's kind of like an off blue. I only got two of them though. 
And then we only got one singular one of my favorite color jelly, which is that lime green jelly. Only one in here because I think it was more of a US color. Hey, we got some red. Boom, some nice looking ice jellies. We got an awesome epic Canada Jaws. These guys are a little bit longer than the US version. It's like the only one that is actually kind of like bigger than the US because the rest of these Canada ones are usually a little bit smaller, but they made him a little bit longer. I think I kind of prefer that too. It makes the snout a little bit nicer than the US version, but these are a nice little red jelly addition. Pulling the green. Green jellies, it's kind of hard to see on the camera, so let me pull it up a little bit closer, see if that helps. No, it still looks pretty dark, but this is kind of like the uh, nice like emerald green jellies. These guys are sweet. I do like them, but the lighting is not great to showcase these completely how they should be. You can kind of pick up glints on it, but these guys are pretty nice. Oh, can I like get anything on these? Man, they just look kind of black. Even moving the light around doesn't really help with these showing them on camera. Oh well. <laughs> Next, purple. There's our little purple lot. Very nice looking. These are fire as far as purple jellies go. They look really sick. I got three of this guy, this one dude, uh, but that's fine. You know, you can't, I think this is wow. Wow looks a little bit faded, but it's not the worst. This guy's like kind of, he doesn't like to stand or stand upright like this. He's kind of flip-flopping. So one of his butt leg things is kind of tilted. He's kind of a little uh, side heavy, I guess. Love these jellies though. You guys know I like purple. Super sweet, hot pink jellies. These guys always just pop out of the boxes I have in storage and on shelves and whatnot. However you guys store these, these guys really pop out quite nicely. I really like the hot peak look. Uh, looks phenomenal. I got a nice uh, speedy, speedy here. I got some music, some hippie, some wow. A good little collection of them. They all look nice. I think this one's a little bit faded, but not terribly. A couple of them are kind of faded, but it's okay. I love the funny bone, man. He's just becoming a, man, I'm just liking him more and more the more I look at this guy. He just brings you into his mouth and uh, is like, hey, you're gonna like this figure. All right, blue. Now these blues must fade a little bit faster. There's quite a variety of like how nice and clean these guys look. I mean, just in the comparison here, this one's more of a vibrant blue, and this one's just kind of more faded. It's almost going to like a light blue. I don't know if there is the two different tones or if these are faded. Someone let me know in the comments if they had like a more royal blue jelly versus like a lighter blue jelly. I'm not sure, but here's all the nice blue ones, at least of just the regular jellies. We got some glitters coming up soon. A sidestep from jelly, we got the classic ice bones. Ice bones are really sweet, and I honestly don't have a ton of the ice bones. So getting a little nice jump start here on my ice bone variation color jellies is really sweet. And I know these guys are popular uh, just because it's that nice clear look. It looks really sweet. I did get a nice menace in the ice ones. Look at how nice that looks in the camera even. That is sharp. Really, really cool. Let's see another one. We got bug eyes here. Looking dope. Oh man. Yeah. The more I look at these ice ones, the more uh, I am pleased to the core with the collecting of these. So I'm gonna have to see how many I have now, but again, this was a good little jump start on them. These are nice. Okay, done with jellies. It's time to go to the glitters. Oh, there were so many glitters in this lot. It was ridiculous. Starting with like the ice glitter, since we just did ice, we've got just a little small batch of the ice glitters, I guess you could say, or the, just the clear glitters. This is all we got. We got a double over here of Heidi or whatever her name is, I don't know, Miss Bo Peep type deal, but those are the ice looking glitter ones that we got. Again, not a huge amount, but we do have a lot, a lot of other color variations of the glitter. So let's go into those. Oh my goodness gracious me, look at all these glitters. I'm gonna separate them though, don't worry. While sorting, I found this non-glitter jelly of a just, it's a one-off of a jelly that color that we didn't really go over or see it's kind of like that light nice crystal blue uh not blue green what am i saying green it's like a light green of the jaws gotta love these jaws man again those details really pop all right i missed some of these other jellies here's another one of those light green ones well since those match the tone of these glitters we're gonna go ahead and get these set up these are the nice glitter green variants all right, there's our nice green, shiny, glittery boys. These guys look dope, although this isn't my favorite glitter color. We did get a 
good chunk of these some nice nice green ones as you can see really sharp where's the jaws oh yes we did get a jaws in this flavor looks excellent i love it i love it a nice uh smiley smiley's looking pretty slick even the ghost ones which i don't have a lot of this figure period so it's nice that i got a bunch of these guys in this lot in fact i got double over here of him joker over here looking excellent i mean come on these glitters look amazing but those are the green ones let's go into another cool looking color we got orange bam some nice looking glitter oranges these look phenomenal these were really cool to see in the lot when i was picking through it they really just pop and again we got another fantastic looking glitter jaws in this nice neon looking jelly orange fan freaking tastic who else did we get we did get a oh well we dropped it but we did get a nice ghost of this one too which is phenomenal a lot of the same figures a lot of duplicates of a lot of different color variants which i'm fine with give me more of the color variants that looks great we got cool dude looking fly in that nice orange we got a nice joker again really really dope now we've got one more to go to it's the glitter blue and we got a good number of these as well boom there we go all the light blue glitter jellies fantastic no i'm not my favorite color variation for the glitters i think i i was told that the blue glitters are exclusive to canada for this color variant so if you wanted blue glitters you could only get them in canada i don't know if there's any others from canada that are exclusive to that but I, i'm pretty sure and correct me if i'm wrong that the blue glitters are from canada so it was really cool to see a bunch of these it's part of the reason why i got the lot was to get a bunch of these nice glitter ones from the Canada exclusive whole lineup thing of color variations. Really, really dope. I was really hoping I could find a Jaws in the blue glitter because a friend of mine is looking for the glitter blue Jaws from the Canada ones to complete his little Jaws collection. Unfortunately, we missed out. We got that green one, we got an orange one. They didn't give us the dang blue glitter Jaws. Gosh dang it. But we got a bunch of other really cool figures. Again, these just look amazing. Amazing, amazing, really dope. I love how these guys are rolling. I think the glitter helps this color variation immensely, I believe, in my opinion. But let me know what you guys think of these things. They are just, holy cow, man. So cool, so, so cool. So many good ones. We got four eyes here. Very nice, cool four eyes in the glitter. Awesome. Yeah, that will do it for the classic series. That was a ginormous lot. I, I, I think I got the most in this lot of the classic original series, which is fantastic because uh, that is uh, what I want to be going for over like things and stuff like that. But this was awesome to get the exclusive things and stuff. And these classics is amazing. And stay put because we got one more very, very cool grouping of Go-Go's that was in this eBay find that is just amazing. Whoop. Rockeros or rockers, these guys are amazing and very, very hard to find. Very limited run of these dudes. They first originally came in the Go-Go's Crazy Bones board game. These were only for Canada and also a little run in Mexico. There are 60 different figures overall to collect, 40 of which were the ones that were placed inside the board game. The other 20 are harder to find and they were placed in some of the one, two, three series packs. Now out of those harder to find ones, I don't know which ones are actually the harder to find. Uh, someone let me know. The wiki wasn't super clear. Let me know which ones were the most difficult ones to find. I did end up getting 46 of these guys. 44 of them were all their own unique individual characters. I only got two double characters, one of which is right here and the other one is this 
book character as well. These guys are super cool. I've only ever had one Rock Heroes in my collection, so to get more of these in the slot, and I was not expecting this many. I've got, I got so many from the slot, it's insane. So you guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments which ones I got that are more rare than others. I'll be showcasing some of them here. As you can see, there's like Michael Jackson ones that kind of look a, more, more or less like some different rock star superstars. We got jazz music pieces, little guitars and instruments and harps and you name it. We have Elvises and rockers and like Kiss band rockers and all these different things. I know there's like a very specific one that I believe is one of the rare ones called Noseless, which is a Michael Jackson one as well, I believe, or faux Michael Jackson. In any case, I got some really, really cool, unique ones. I'm very, very happy. I'm looking at them right here because I just filmed that whole video that you're seeing, but these are super, super, really super cool. And to get as many as I did, I saw a few of them pictured in the eBay picture, but I was really not expecting this many. I only saw a couple. I was expecting maybe five or 10, but I got 40, 40 of these guys. It's just absolutely insane. I couldn't be happier with that. And as you may have already guessed, they glow in the dark. And they only glow in the dark. There were no other color variations for the Rock Heroes. This is how they came in the board game and any packs, they'll always be glowies. Just extremely insane, this lot of Go-Go's. I, uh, I had so much fun opening up this package and hopefully you guys did too. If you enjoyed this one, leave a like on the video. Make sure to subscribe for more. Again, I do have another huge lot of Go-Go's. Now, I will say we only ended with about 570 Go-Go's total in this lot. So that 800 thing was just to throw me off at the beginning, I guess. So, But I have another lot of like 500 Go-Go's that I can't wait to open up with you guys as well. So if you want to see that, leave a comment below. Again, second reminder, subscribe. Thank you for the support. And we will see you guys in the next video.